Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Mr. Vaughn is a patient here at the School of Dentistry who has just had some dentures prepared for him. Uh, why have you asked me to look at your patient? Mr. Vaughn <coughs> presented himself to me in February of 1972 uh, requesting a new pair of dentures. On his old dentures, the first molar and the second bicuspid were missing. And on the right buccal mucosa, he had a diffuse patch of leukoplakia. He is a pipe smoker, and he, this is where he holds his pipe on the right side of his mouth. He, I made him a new uh, set of dentures, and he's been wearing those now for Oh, about three weeks. Last night was the first time he hadn't smoked his pipe in uh, about 19 years. <clears throat> and so consequently, the diffuse patch of leukoplakia that I had noticed is diminished and it be, might be very difficult to see. Let's ask Mr. Vaughn first, uh, did you notice any sensation about this area of whiteness on your cheek? Does it sting, smart, burn, or anything like that? Were you aware of it, in other words? Uh, no, I was not aware of it in any manner. Okay, so the first time you knew about it then was when your dentist uh, pointed it out to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, would you like to demonstrate this area for us? Perhaps you take the dentures out first. Upper? Both. Both. Let's come right on in to the mandibular ridge close up in the cuspid area there. Let's see, let's bring it down just a little bit, open a little wider. That's the ticket. We'll point out an area. That's it. It's being well demonstrated right here in the cuspid eminence. Now the uh, area over in the Buccal mucous membrane, would you point that out, Art? Turn your head toward me, Mr. Vaughn. Yes, now that can be demonstrated. It's in the back corner there. Can you point to it and outline that? Let's see if I can get around here. Very good. How would you describe, Art, this uh, mucosa as it appears to you? Is it uh, wrinkly, soft, hard? What? It's got a blue hue to it. It is not the normal texture of the surrounding mu mucous membrane. And it is wrinkly to some areas have even a thin crust on them. This crust can't be removed by brushing on it, though. So that's how you distinguish uh, candidiasis, for example. It won't come off. Did you check his hands and uh, face and so on for lichen planus? Yes, I did, and there were a few marks, but they were uh, scars that he received during the war, so they don't have any significance here. All right. Let's look at the palate. Uh, I think we'll discover something interesting in the palate. See if we can get the light way back in here. You'll notice on the palate several little uh, small pinpoint dots. They're sort of to the center of the field now with the light right on them. These are the orifices of minor salivary glands. And you'll notice the halo of white that surrounds them, and uh, there's a rather diffuse white coat over this palate. What do you think we're looking at? What would be the diagnosis of this situation? I don't know. OK. This is. Uh, nicotinic stomatitis, and it's uh, best seen on the palate. Actually, in pipe smokers, it's even seen the buccal mucosa. Now, this uh, patient does not have a very severe problem, as we can, we can see. And as a matter of fact, when he stops smoking for a 24-hour period, his lesions fade dramatically. So just uh, what do you evaluate? What do you think lies in store for this patient? What kind of advice shall we give him? I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. It's uh, something that apparently 
without the pipe, it, it is disappearing. And if we could get Mr. Vaughn to stay off the pipe for a little bit longer, we may, uh, his next appointment may not see it at all. That's a good evaluation. I think we'd have to say that uh, the pipe smoking has produced a lesion in this patient. It's taken him 20 years and the lesion looks like it does today. And the fact that he can stop smoking for 24 hours and have them fade remarkably is uh, strongly in his favor. I think counseling to cease smoking is good advice, but I would say that at this point we should schedule him for an appointment maybe six months to a year from now and reevaluate the lesion at that time. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.